welcome to our new lesson. Science and technology have paved the way for what man is experiencing today. Now, did you know that a variety of products at home and in our environment can be classified as organic or inorganic compounds? Now, for today's video, we are going to differentiate inorganic compounds from organic compounds. Now, let's start with inorganic compounds. An inorganic compound is a compound that does not contain carbon. In contrast, only a handful of inorganic compounds contain carbon atoms. Carbon dioxide is one of the few examples. Inorganic compounds contain some kind of metals such as alkali, alkaline, transition, and so forth. And they will in general have the capacity to conduct electricity. For instance, while in solid state, inorganic compounds are poor conductors of electricity. And in any case, in the liquid state, inorganic compounds are profoundly conductive. In this stage, inorganic compounds electrons can move uninhibitedly, and this development of electron is noted as electricity. Because of ionic bonding commonly found in inorganic compounds, they are held together tightly and have extremely high melting and boiling points. Another remarkable quality of inorganic compounds is their color. Transition metal inorganic compounds, in any event, are generally profoundly colored. The brilliant and delightful hues seen when firecrackers explode are caused by the inorganic metal present in the compound. Since inorganic compounds show a special color when consumed, this can be utilized as a marker to recognize the metal involved. Likewise, inorganic compounds are normally highly soluble in water. In other words, they can vanish when put into water since they will dissolve. One more uncovering quality of inorganic compounds is their capacity to form crystals. On the other hand, Organic compounds are groups of compounds that consistently contain carbon with other different elements that are required for living creatures to work. Carbon is the key component since it has four electrons in an external electron shell or in an outer shell that can bond or hold eight electrons. Subsequently, it can form numerous kinds of bond with other carbon molecules and components. For example, Hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, and halogens. Hydrocarbons and proteins are a genuine example of organic compounds that can form long chains and complex structures. Among the numerous types of organic compounds are the four major categories that are found in all living things, and these are carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. Carbohydrates are biochemicals that is made of one or more simple sugar molecules. Living things use carbohydrates as an energy source. Lipids, on the other hand, are biochemicals that does not dissolve in water. Fats, oils, and waxes are examples of lipids. One of the function of lipids in living things is to store energy. Proteins are huge molecules with complex structures that permit them to take insignificant functions in organic chemical reactions. It is usually present in animal products, though it also exists in other sources such as nuts and legumes. On the other hand, nucleic acid are the chief information carrying molecules of the cell. The term nucleic acid is overall name for DNA and RNA. They lead the development of protein synthesis and control the inherited characteristic of every living thing. Now, how will you differentiate organic from inorganic compounds? In terms of sources, organic compounds comes from natural sources like plants and animals, or materials produced from living organisms. On the other hand, inorganic compounds obtained from minerals. In terms of composition, Organic compounds are mostly contain carbon, with hydrogen, nitrogen, phosphorus, chlorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, sulfur, and oxygen. On the other hand, inorganic compounds contains all other elements, with some exemptions like carbonates, carbon dioxide, carbides, and cyanides. 
In terms of melting point and boiling point, organic compounds have low and generally below 350 degrees Celsius, while inorganic compounds have high melting and boiling point and generally above 700 degrees Celsius. When it comes to solubility, organic compounds are soluble in non-polar solvent, while inorganic compounds are soluble in polar solvent. In terms of ignition, Organic compounds are combustible and leave no residue after burning, while inorganic compounds are non-combustible and leave no residue. When it comes to conductivity, organic compounds do not form ions in solution, thus they are not conductors, while inorganic compounds form ions in solution, therefore they are good conductor. When it comes to properties, generally, Organic compounds are viscous, volatile, and flammable. While inorganic compounds, they are not volatile and viscous. When it comes to appearance, organic compounds are mostly solid, liquid, and gas. While inorganic compounds are most often in solid form. When it comes to chemical bonding, organic compounds are formed through covalent bond. While inorganic compounds can be formed through ionic or covalent compound, but mostly a unique. So that's it. See you in our next lesson. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you will be notified for more videos like this.